Welcome back to my devlog series. In this episode, I mainly want to share all the progress that I made in the last few weeks. I was honestly pretty busy, so there isn't a lot to show, but let's try anyways. I started by drawing the basic sketch of the first map in Photoshop. The idea for the first map is that you are in a spaceship. I know this might not be making much sense right now, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think. I made the thing in Blender and after importing it into Unity, I really began questioning my life choices. Then I played Minecraft a bit to format my brain and then I started to work on the game. I decided to use this asset from the asset store because that is way more convenient. I placed the models around and realized this isn't looking cool at all. But we'll fix that later, like the rest of the map. But as you can tell, this map is looking a bit stiff, like seriously, I'm not even joking. So I hopped into VS Code and made the door open because that is what doors do. Then I added a juicy camera shake which plays while the door is opening. It's not perfect but the idea is there. Then we come to the second most important part of the map, the electronics. I added the UI and then discovered that I had no idea about how to create animated text display. So I banged my head on the keyboard and searched up a few tutorials and sort of figured out where I went wrong and after 4 days of procrastination, I have finally made the television work. Also I know you must be wondering what is the first most important thing in the map. Well I've not really implemented that so we will see that in the next devlog. I hope. The player controller is also an asset from the asset store but I'm working on my own player controller which is not finished right now but hopefully will be finished by the third devlog. The reason for the delay is that I don't want to rush things like I used to do in the past. Alright let's get back to post processing. I am pretty dumb so I have no idea how to actually perform post processing. I'm just going to click everything and let's hope nothing goes wrong. I also thought that shadows really should be present so I made shadows a thing in real life. Also this sky is pretty dumb like me and I don't really want the sky to reflect me in real life so I decided to create a hyper realistic skybox which was a disappointment just like my life. Anyways Unity's as a store came to my rescue for the 10 times since the starting of this video. Uh, and that is much better. I think it looks pretty cool. Now as I was playing through, I realized that this map really really needed a soundtrack. So I hit up my boy Fripe and he created a pretty dark theme for the first map. Massive shout out to him. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. He's also the man behind most of the music I used in my videos. Then I created a crosshair customizer because I was bored. I still haven't introduced guns to the game, so I don't know why I wasted my time on it. But this is classic X Genius, so we are not going to talk about it. Then I hopped into Photoshop and created a map for the second map. After watching a few tutorials on Pro Builder, I can call myself an architect now. Yeah, I know that looks like sh but this is the first time I've actually designed a map, so please take that into consideration. I think that that is all the time I got for this video. I have not covered some features, but they are not finished. So we are going to ignore them for now. I've also created a Discord server now. Please join it. First 100 members to join will get a special role. Link is in the description. I post regular updates there and there are a lot of fun people to hang out with. With that, Xgenius signing out. Pip pip.